Let's take a look at the nets questions. So question number one, which 3D shape will the nets below form? Uh, well, once you get practice, you'll know straight away, but imagine you're doing some origami and you're making a fold here, 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 and here. Now, if we imagine that this is the front, then this will be the top, this will be the bottom, this will be the left-hand side, this will be the right-hand side, and if we make a final fold here, this will be the back, and we will have a cube. Question number two, which 3D shape will the net form below? So here we have a, a net uh, which is made up of rectangles, and if we make a fold here and here, and we call this the front, then this will be the top, this will be the base, another fold here, this will be the right-hand side, another fold here, this will be the back, and another fold here, this will make the left-hand side of a cuboid. Which of the following nets will form a cube? Well, the first thing to do is just check that uh, they all are made up of six squares. Well, we can see they're all squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you can't make a cube with five. Uh, this has got six and this has six as well. Now, the standard nets are uh, four cubes in a line with one above and one below. So A works, B does not work because they are both below. If they're both below or both above, you can't turn it into, uh, into a cube. And just imagine you're doing the folds, you'll realize that it's impossible. So B does not work. Um, C is exactly the same, well, it's, it's not exactly the same, but it's similar. We've got the four in a line, one above, one below. It doesn't matter where, above this, this square here is, and it doesn't matter where underneath this one is, um, as long as one is above and one is below, it makes a, um, a cube. E will not work because we don't have a cube on the, on the top here, so E won't work either. So we'll get rid of that one. And F looks a bit confusing, but if you do work it out by imagining you're doing the folds, if I make a fold here, and I call this the front, then this will be the left-hand side, and if I make a fold here, then this will be the top. Make another fold here, this will be the base. Uh, another fold here, this is where it kind of gets a little bit confusing. Then this will be the right-hand side, and then this will be the back. And again, we do uh, have a cube. So the following nets, uh, sorry, the nets that uh, will make a cube are A, C, and F. Question number four, we need to draw a net for this box here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, uh, let's select the base here, which is three by five. Um, so I'm just gonna hope that I'm not gonna run out of space here. Um, hopefully they, there's a bit of leeway involved. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So what I've done is I've drawn this part here, this base. Now, if I, I'm gonna imagine I'm folding this, these sides, uh, so the right-hand side and the left-hand side to either side. This is gonna be a three by two. So I've got the three here, so there's my, my two, there's my two. So I've now pulled the sides apart. Now what I'm gonna do is the front part I'm gonna uh, fold down this way, so it's gonna be a five by two. So I've got the five here, so there's my two. My five by two on the other side, um, which is this side in here. Um, yeah, I think I might have run out of space a little bit, but it's okay, because I can do the other, uh, what, the, only, the only other side I've not accounted for is the top and the top is connected to either this side or this side, it doesn't really matter. So I'm drawing another rectangle, which is five by three. So here's my five, here's my three. Of course, this part here could have sat on the top. I just ran out of space, so I've decided to draw it on the bottom. But there are other, other alternatives, but this for me is the most logical. And question number five, we want a net of this cuboid. So let's just take one dimension. I'm just gonna start with the base, which is gonna be uh, five by 5.5. 5. 
So 5 by 5.5. I'm going to fold these two bits outwards. That's going to be a 5.5 by 7. So I've got my 5.5. So this is the 7. This is the 7. Okay, I've not drawn it particularly well. Obviously, if you're doing it on squared paper, it's a lot easier. And presumably, you'd use a ruler, whereas I'm just freestyling it with a graphics tablet. Um, so I've got the... I've dealt with the base, I've dealt with this side here and this side here. So now I'm going to pull this face here that way and the opposite face here in this direction. And this is a five by, uh, this is five by seven as well. So here's my five. So there is my seven. And there's only one side that's not been accounted for, and that, that is the, the top here, which is 5.5 by 5, which can either sit on top of this one or on top of the one on the bottom. So I'll just stick it on the top as there's a bit more space here, and I'll label that. Well, there's the 5 still, and there's my 5.5. And again, if you just imagine folding this together, you should see that um, if I were to make a fold here, 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 and here, and we call this the base, then this would be the left-hand side, this would be the right hand side, this would be the front, this would be the back, and if I make a fold here, then this would make the, the top of this cuboid.